All right, guys, I'm going to show you my NES uh, collection, library, whatever you want to call it, for 2023. This is what I have in my in my library for now, and I'm always looking to add games in throughout the year for pretty much every system that I own, every collection that I own. Um, now, I want to get this out of the way. First, I'm not a collector. I'm a gamer. I don't collect games just to sell them or you know trade them or anything. I'm, I'm a gamer, and... Most of my games I will play, or if I haven't already played them, um, I'm just I'm just really passionate about it. So let's get it started, anyways. Uh, first game here is Astyanx, however you pronounce that. This was a recommendation from another YouTuber and uh, uh, Twitch streamer, great guy, Game Dungeon Productions, and I found this one in a game shop. I haven't not tried this one yet, but um, yeah, he said it's really good. It's a cheap game, as you can see. I got it for ten dollars. Um, that's the first one. Next up we have another recommendation from Game Dungeon Productions. This is Base Wars. Little robot baseball game. I did try this out when I tested it and it seems pretty darn fun so I'm gonna have to stream that at some point. It's Base Wars. Next up, next up we have a really good NES game and that's Batman. I had recently picked this one up um, and tried it out for the first time. It's so good. Uh, I haven't beaten it yet but I'm definitely gonna go back to it and try to try to get through the game super awesome game from Sunsoft there next up we have an absolute classic Castlevania there's a little plastic wrapping over it uh, you can't go wrong with this game hard game but um, probably one of the first if not the first horror game I ever really played in my life was probably this game so uh, just a classic game uh, Castlevania one you really can't go wrong with that game uh, next we have an RPG, Crystalis, one I picked up, and haven't played through this one yet, but I'm very excited to give this one a go. It looks pretty good as far as uh, NES RPGs go. So there's Crystalis, get a copy of that. Moving along, we have one, um, one of my childhood favorite games that we had growing up was Darkwing Duck on the NES. I love this game so much from Capcom. If you're a fan of Mega Man, probably like this game. Not as hard as Mega Man, but definitely a quality game. Really good graphics, really good gameplay, level design, music. Man, one of my favorites on NES, no doubt. Uh, the back is a little sleep. Darkwing Duck. Alright, next we have one I just picked up but haven't tried yet. That's Deadly Towers. As we know, uh, AVGN has covered this game. So I kind of wanted to check out how bad this was. I tested it out. I couldn't get it working yet, but I think I just need to clean it a little bit more. And I should be able to get it working at some point. But uh, cheap game anyways. Deadly Towers. Uh, probably going to suck. That's all right, though. Next up, we have Dr. Mario. Another classic there. Great, uh, you know, versus game. Really, really fun puzzle. Puzzle-like game. Of course, you know, most of us have probably tried out some version of Dr. Mario at some point. Uh, really, really fun game. Next we have, this was another recommendation to me. This is Faxanadu. This was a really fun RPG. I played through this one on, on stream and beat it. Again, all these games that I play, guys, that I've uh, streamed and stuff, it's all on YouTube as well. If you ever care to see my struggles through any of these games. So this is uh, Faxanadu. A uh, really, really good, kind of underrated RPG there. Enjoyed that one. Next, we have a horror game, Friday the 13th. Uh, I know this game's known to be bad. I actually like this game. Um, I think it's I think it's pretty fun gameplay. It's very cryptic. I have no idea how to beat this game. I'm learning as I go. I do know I do know understand. I mean, I guess I understand like half the game, but there's parts of it I still don't know what to do. But it's a, it's a pretty freaking fun game. Good atmosphere in this game for sure with awesome music. It's just fun to throw on and see how far you can get. Here is a, here's one I just recently picked up and streamed here in October. And I loved it. And that is Ghoul School for the NES. This is a heck of a good game. Really enjoyed this playthrough. A really good um, atmosphere. Fun villains. Um, a Metroidvania style game in a way. Uh, where you're collecting items, kind of leveling up your weapon and trying to unlock new areas of the school and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's, there's crypticness to it as well. So I did have to use a walkthrough a few times, but 
overall a really really good game a great experience definitely recommend this one if you're a fan of the metroidvania type games ghoul school uh i believe that, that game went down in price too it used to be much more expensive i picked it up for around 40 dollars uh here is hideline another rpg uh yeah this game's not very good but i also don't hate it uh it's it functions pretty terribly in terms of like hitboxes and all that I don't, I don't really know what to say the looping music will drive you insane but uh i used a walkthrough on this game because i knew how annoying this game was going to be if i didn't use one so i used one and it really helped me get through the game and we ended up beating it uh, without a walkthrough i probably would never play this game at least try to beat it anyways i would recommend using a walkthrough if you ever play hideline probably the only way you might enjoy the game Next up, we have another one of my favorites on the NES. That's ice hockey. Just plain old ice hockey. Got this for $250. Um, Blades of Steel is another good one, but I really enjoy this one right here. Ice hockey. Just plain old hockey. Super fun. Even to this day, gameplay is great. Uh, you really can't go wrong with ice hockey. Even if you're not a fan of hockey, you can probably enjoy that game. Let me move on to the next little stack here. We have a licensed game coming up. And that is Karate Kid. <laughs> this game was, uh, it's funny because uh, of how bad it is, but also frustratingly hard. I did manage to beat the game, but it wasn't easy. Uh, there's so much bullshit that can happen to you in terms of like deaths falling into pits and stuff like that, enemies hitting you. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious, but also very frustrating. Uh, not a game I would recommend unless you're just goofing around for a bit, but it's pretty funny, I guess. Freaking Karate Kid. Uh, here is some a really bad game to a really awesome game. This is another one that I grew up with, and that is Life Force. Hell of a good shmup here. Uh, shmups are something I used to like back in the day. I haven't played many of them recently. I do want to start getting into them again at some point and trying out a bunch. They're just so expensive to buy. But this is one that um, is a great two-player game as well, and just... Wonderful music, wonderful gameplay. I mean, this is this is one of the best NES games I think I've ever played anyways from Konami here. Life Force. Awesome game. Uh, here's another one that was a good surprise, and that was Nightmare on Elm Street, the most expensive uh, NES game I own. I don't know why my copy has, like, this tape over it. It's not cracked, it's just tape for some reason, but whatever. I'm not too worried about the cosmeticness of the... Uh, of the, of the game as long as it works, which it does. I We did uh, a few runs of this during October. It's a really, really fun game. Definitely going to go back to this and try to finish it. I think this is a great game. I know it's been talked about as being bad, but I really enjoy the gameplay of this one and the way it's set up. It's not too cryptic or anything. I think it's definitely beatable. Um, I got pretty far in it, so I'm look, looking forward to going back to that one. Nightmare on Elm Street. Great game, great game said you can find good things about a lot of these games next we have a horrible game and that's skate or die i don't i hate this game it controls probably the worst controls of any nes game that i um i own uh there's there's only like one mode that's kind of fun and kind of functions the rest of them are just like i have no idea what i'm doing because the gameplay and controls are so bad skate or die i choose death uh we have Next up, I mean, this doesn't even need to be said. I mean, it's Super Mario Brothers with the Duck Hunt, but I bought this for Mario. Uh, original Mario is still one of my favorite Mario games to this day. Super great game. I mean, if you have an NES, you have to have Mario Brothers, right? I mean, it's just wrong if you don't. I still got to get Mario 2 and 3, though, but I have played those games. Uh, now we have the Turtles games. The first one is the original Turtles games. This is one I did grow up with as well. Uh, I kind of have mixed feelings. Like, I have good nostalgia for this. I've never beaten this game because I find it to be incredibly difficult for some reason. But uh, I wouldn't say it's a bad game. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It has its flaws. It's it's not a great game by any means, but it's not, like, super bad or anything. I don't know. It, it's okay, I guess. Uh, this, is, however, is a good game. Turtles 2, the arcade game, beat em up ported from the arcade to the NES. This is actually a pretty good port, considering this is Nintendo, and uh, yeah, it's a very, very good game. I have not streamed this one yet, but I would like to. Uh, really, really good beat-em-up. 
Uh, next, one of my favorite NES games right here is Turtles 3 The Manhattan Project. This is a hell of a good beat em up. Still fantastic to this day. I have streamed this one as well. Um, I, this is another one I grew up with. One of my favorite games as a kid was this one in Turtles in Time. So, uh, Manhattan Project. If you haven't played that one, it's very, very good. Awesome levels, awesome enemies. They got like ground chuck, dirt bag in there. Some like rare Turtles villains, which is nice to see. Next up, Top Gun. A uh, game that, yeah, is pretty bad, but I don't, I don't hate this game. There's actually like the flying sections where you're shooting things is actually kind of fun. I hate the landing sections. Um, I haven't beaten this game, probably won't, but uh, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, but it's also not something that anybody should rush out to buy. Uh, oh my gosh, this next game is uh, Total Recall. This game is so bad, but hilariously bad. It's one of those games, you know, that's so bad it's good. Uh, there's no way in hell I'd ever beat this game. The freaking levels are, some of them are just impossible. And just the trick you need to do in order to beat the first level, like boss, whatever you want to call it, is insane. Just like so stupid. Uh, and the second level is just complete BS, but it's a hell of a funny game. There's a lot of weird things in this game just from the first level or two. I think the furthest I've made it is somewhere in level 3 or something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what a game. What, a, what an experience that is. And next we have WWF WrestleMania. I gotta have a wrestling game. Uh, not a great game either. For a primitive wrestling game, I guess it's okay, but you just kind of run around the stage like an idiot collecting items and trying to hit your opponent who's like AI is just running around and kind of annoying to hit. Uh, it's, yeah, again, it's not great, but you know, it's a primitive wrestling game. What do you want? All right, two more games to go. These ones are in box. Uh, this one is fantastic Capcom game and that's a Little Mermaid. Not a hard game, but a really fun and fair game to play. Definitely recommend this if you like uh, side scrollers, of course, and Disney games. Uh, again, not, not a super hard game either. Pretty, pretty good one to start with if you're just starting out on the NES or like platformers. Um, definitely a beatable game, but I, I love the music. I love the level design. This is a complete box copy with the manual and everything. So uh, really cool to have that. Great game. Next up is a game as I, I just picked up. This is the last game I have to show you guys. Anyways, um, this is a box copy of Mylon Secret Castle. A uh, pretty cheap game. This does not have the manual, but does have like the dust sleeve and everything inside, and a nice protective case on the box. So it should stay in good condition. Uh, I actually really wanted to try this game. Uh, I know it's considered to be bad, but um, I really wanted to, to try it out because it looks like it might be kind of intriguing. Uh, a little side-scrolling thing with like mystery to it. I don't know. It might suck. Whatever. I still want to play it. Mylon Secret Castle. And there you go, guys. That is all the NES games that I own as of right now. I, I might do these kind of collection videos at the end of every year going forward for each like library that I have. So I'm going to be showing you guys throughout the month of December here all my collections of, uh, of, my, of my consoles and stuff. Because I have like all Xbox and more Nintendo stuff and Sega and PlayStation stuff to show you guys. So if you like that this sort of thing, uh, there'll be plenty of that to come this month. And you guys can get a look at my, my collection. So thanks for watching. Y'all are awesome. Happy holidays. And until next time, zero is the number.